Hey everyone, Chef Yoda the Dog here, and it's time for the Monday meal. Today's Monday meal is chicken. It is chicken in the Instapot, and it is chicken thighs. Uh, it's something my mom doesn't make a lot, so she found a recipe for chicken thighs in the Instapot. So that is what we are showing you today, and hope you guys will enjoy it. They were delicious, by the way. We ate them all right at, well, I didn't get to, well... There were some that was dropped on the floor, and I ate that. But anyway, so these are really, really tasty, and it was a really easy, quick recipe, and my mom highly recommends it. So watch the video. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. We would really appreciate it. Chef Yoda the dog out. So we're doing chicken thighs in the Instapot. The recipe I'm going to link below is great because it tells you every single kind how long to cook it for so bone in skinless bone in with skin on thawed frozen and all the other varieties they're in so ours are we got from walmart and they are or sam's one of the two sam's they are almost six pounds of chicken thighs they are bone in and skin on so it'll be 12 minutes for us because i thawed them out if i had frozen them it would have been a little longer just check the times in this link i'm gonna put so you set your Instapot to sealing. And then what's in here so far is a cup and a half of water because I have an eight quart Instapot. So if you have a six quart, you want a cup of water. If you have an eight quart, a cup and a half. Then you put half of an onion chopped down there. So I use minced onion, a couple of tablespoons. And it's at a couple of cloves of garlic. So I use a couple of teaspoons of minced garlic. And then you put the trivet which I bought this silicone one, but I also have the metal one that came with the Instapot. You put that down there and then you season the thighs liberally. So we're using the blend because it said salt and pepper, but you know, salt, and pepper, garlic is better. So we're gonna season them and then put them in here. I'm gonna show you what they look like when I get them in there. Okay, so this is what I did to put them in there because uh, I saw them do this on a video for the recipe link. So they're kind of set up on the trivet vertically, I guess, all the way around so that they're not like, so they're in a single layer, but they're vertical, not horizontal. So that's the way we did it. We used the blend all over front and back. Mine are bone in, skin on, but I just noticed that the bottom of them was still a little frozen. They weren't completely thawed. So I'm gonna do uh, the frozen time instead of the non-frozen time, which is gonna be 14 minutes um, and then five minutes of natural release so that's what we're gonna try see how they do so you definitely want to put the lid on and you want it to say sealing because we're pressure cooking so make sure it says sealing and then you want to do manual and then down to 14 minutes keep going 15 14 all right so it's good to go. You don't need to do anything else and let it do its thing. And then I'll show you the finished product. All right, guys, I let it natural release for five minutes. Then I quick release the rest of it. As you can see, we are way above 165 and that's what you want them to be. So they are done and ready to eat. Just use some tongs to get them out. That's probably the best way to do it, but just gonna let you know. They are good to go, and they part of them were still frozen when I put them in there. So definitely check out that link and make sure you follow the instructions for whether or not they're bone in, whether or not they have skin or not, and whether or not they're frozen. But it totally worked. So, all right. Happy Monday. Enjoy. Say hi, Yoda. Happy Monday. Ruff, ruff.